Well, is that over at the and, kettle? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah I, I saw that yesterday. <laughs> 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 to this fringe and all of you here. I would like to remind you to turn off your phones and that no photo, uh, photographs may be taken at any time. And to go to the shindig tonight uh, and go to the last show of our day, which is the Pansy Grays over at the Kettle, and to vo vote for audience choice. Uh, you can do that online, and you can also do that uh, at the box office. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, those who would rather be neither, <laughs> Thank you everyone so much for coming. As Carmel said, we are Caravan Sarai and um, we are a flexible chamber music ensemble, meaning we expand and contract depending on what the program needs. So the three core members here, Jessica, myself, Eleanor, and Yi Ping, are very pleased to be joined by Sharanas on the clarinet today. Um, we are presenting a program of three different chamber music pieces that we really love. 
and we are very happy to have you here with us. Um, as you can tell, we've set up the room designed to help you make yourselves comfortable. So if anyone needs to doodle or read a book or stretch out, do some yoga, feel free. Um, and so our first piece is written by Mozart. And um, back in Mozart's time, a chamber music concert was something more like going to a movie or a jazz concert these days. So feel free to clap when you want to clap. Um, relax, this is not a very tight-laced chamber music concert. Um, <laughs> <laughs> enjoy yourselves. Make <laughs> sure um, And as you see, we, don't, we haven't provided you with programs, partially because we want to be living program notes for you. So we're going to tell you a little bit about each of our pieces. Um, like I said, this first piece is by Mozart. Our full program has a piece that was written just last year, and then another by Britain, so you'll get quite a range of pieces here. Um, this first Mozart piece is in three movements. He wrote it at a time in his life where he was employed by an archduke, and he was really chafing in this professional relationship. He was feeling very taken advantage of, he was being treated as a very low member of, of the sort of entourage. And he wrote this piece because he was in the company of some musicians that really inspired him. And the following year, he actually broke ties with his employer. Um, and so I think, for me, listening to this piece, I hear his, his inspiration and um, how much he wanted to kind of transcend the sort of working relationship he was in right then. Um, the oboe at the time was very limited, and there happened to be a very virtuosic oboe player who he met. And so he wrote this piece for, it was originally written for three strings and oboe, and um, it, it used the very highest note in the oboe's repertoire at the time. It, it employed some very, very virtuosic playing. And Ethan, do you want to talk a little bit more about what it's like for you? Sure, if I get to show off. <laughs> When I first learned this piece, I just thought, that is so wild and modern for Mozart's time. Um, there's this section of music in the very last uh, movement of the piece. Last movement is usually used to show off, anyway. And this section, um, he, I, I feel like he's trying to rebel a little bit with his music. So while the um, string parts are playing like mm, ba, ba, mm, ba, ba, like a feel of three, he is trying to do something else with the oboe that feels like it's in four. So I want you guys to be able to experience that. So if you can, uh, while they're doing their mm, ba, ba, mm, ba, ba, I want you to just say one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, just to see how that feels <laughs> to you. All right? Yeah. So. Um, uh, a little tip for you, just list, as long as your one lines up with Eleanor's cello notes, you'll be all good. And don't try too hard. Okay, okay so 95. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Three movements, there's fast allegro, slow adagio, and then fast 
Rondo on my graph. And as I said, feel free to make yourselves at home and clap whenever you want to. Relax. <laughs> or, or don't clap. Or don't clap. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like it, that's totally fine too. <laughs>
second movement is going to be quite a bit darker. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
earlier is a piece that was written last year by a composer living in Brooklyn. He's a cellist and composer, and he has worked within the classical field, but then he's also done a lot of work with um, production and backup work with strings and um, gig situations in LA. So he's got a variety of experiences in his background. <laughs> Um, this piece is entitled American Haiku. It was composed in three movements, right? and uh, it's based on Japanese folk melodies, and then it's interwoven with Appalachian style fiddling. And um, the piece it was composed for is a musician who is not from here, but now lives here. And so it's kind of a reflection on finding who you are when you're from somewhere else, and your background may be real different than where you're at, and finding your place within it. And then the funny story about this is I stumbled upon it on YouTube, and I'm going to say this for my husband's sake, is that he, uh, <laughs> I, I'd left the room, I'd gone and, you know, I was changing a diaper or something, and, you know, I came to this piece, I was like, oh cool, poopy diaper, go into that, and did that, and came back in the room, and he'd been sitting there, he goes, you have to play this, this is a good one. <laughs>
want to get on our mailing list, we have little sign-ups. We, if you want to find us online, it's caravansfry-ensemble.com. And we're so delighted we came. Thanks so much. Thank Woo! you. One more show left in this festival. You gotta leave the kids at home for this one. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you have just enough time to get to it. Oh, yeah. You have yeah. just enough time to get to it. Yes, leave right now. Go home to the kill. Leave the kids. The kids can go to Fringe HQ and then you can join them at 8. We have one more shit to get inside and climb down Fringe Awards. You also vote in HQ. Yeah, we bought tickets. Hang out with that. Thank you, darling. 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 Set up for the kids. Yes. Isn't that nice? Yes. I like that. It's really sweet. Well, it's hard to have any gender. Nope. Are you in the Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.